Well, I meant the <laughs> video coming in here and setting up, but I'm already set up. There's the jack, and there's the build. Well, the chainsaw will get us good wood. <laughs> I've never seen this road this darn clean. Ever. Talking about grindstone? Yeah. I don't know. She, they, why does the Forest Service close so many of their darn campgrounds during the hunt season? They close grindstone, period. Is it closed? Yes, sir. It and raccoon branch both. Huh. Both of them is closed, period. They used to make music up there on Saturday night. Oh, that's yeah, up there at the barn. Yeah. Oh, for the last Saturday. Well, we ain't seen a hunter yet, have we? People over here ain't got no cattle. They don't want it. You tell it somebody out of here, they have to buy dirt cheap before they come over here and get it. You got a bunch of hay. Nobody wants. Well, that barn might be another. Somebody in that house there. Then it's like they put a cat they put a dang building on that concrete slab. Yeah. Gave a little tractor in there. Is that sheep acres? down there in the bottom? Huh? How are we gonna find out if any acres up high? Just ride up the mountain road? I don't know. Get out and walk, I guess. Well, I'll tell you There's any. deer out in front of us. Yeah, there goes something across the road. There's there. several of them there. I got his look too two years, can't get it out. There's sheep down there in the bottom, man. Oh dude. Huh? Won't go. Right here, one, two, three, four, oh, five, shoot, six, look, look at them back in there. Eight. Look at that right here, right here against the road. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there. I think there's nothing behind right there. There's another one up here. Another one. Right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's at least 35, and we ain't got the first damn. What a buck. What a buck. Yeah, that's a buck. Four. You want to cross the field? Yeah, I see him up there. That big old buck up there. There's nothing. That's the one closest to the house. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. He, he's pretty good. 
There's another There's one. There's another one. Two of them right there together. Smaller one. Is that another buck? Coming in right here? Yeah, that's a buck. There's another buck. Yeah, uh huh. That's a Look at him. He's testing the air, boy. There is not a spike, I don't know what it is, a fork, something. Fork, the one on the left. They're pretty things, it's just pretty ugly. Look at them, man, they're running everywhere. <laughs> that was pretty. Well, there's a bunch of little ones, ain't there? 48. A little old spot. Yeah. Uh, that thing right there? Yeah. Hey, look. Third hit down below the crest. Yeah. Oh, they're they're fighting. The two of them are fighting there. Jack here is doing his thing. And he's going to do it filling taters. Peeling taters. <laughs> you know how much video I've got of you peeling taters over the years. <laughs> <laughs> well, the taters no good? Yeah, they, they are to make mashed taters with. I got these and we'll try these. These ain't no good. I got another bag in there. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had this thing on when we were, we were talking about Bill made some buttermilk gravy one time. <laughs> that was a one of a kind, wasn't it, Bill? Pretty good gravy they got to it, wasn't it? Yeah, I told her. Oh, that was a of some milk. <laughs> I poured it in the skillet. That's right. He went over there and he browned and browned and browned these <laughs> flour and stuff. Get away. It was really looking good. Get away. Poor Dad put her milk in that. I ain't never seen gravy do quite like that before. It clabbered, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it clabbered. There was a shot. Back this, back this way. I 
He getting hit there for a season. How's that? Good. Hmm? Good. I'm <laughs> <laughs> The doctor is up here. Yep, you're a mess, ain't you, huh? You're a mess. Hey, look up here. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. What are you doing, huh? Are you out running? Are you out running around, hmm? Are you out running around, hmm? There's old Bill. <laughs> Your daddy's calling you. He is. He says, I don't care. I don't care. I'm an explorer. <laughs> Take the coffee over to the camp. Oh, uh huh. Uh huh. I got coffee too. Well, good. Where's your cup? <laughs> Where's your cup? Right here. Right here. I didn't know you was making it, Joe. Tell me, wouldn't it? Well, it's it's been a little different to yours. <laughs> now this is strong, okay? Taste it, see if you like it first. It's strong, but it's smooth. Ain't no bitterness. Cool. Ain't no acid to it. It's damn hot, I tell you that. <laughs> is it hot? <laughs> it ain't iced coffee? It ain't iced coffee, yeah. <laughs> it's a long way to iced coffee. <laughs> Smoke's in the truck and won't get out. To do what? Smoke is in the truck and won't get out. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke won't get out Jack's lap. Look at him. <laughs> he made it, didn't he? He struggled, struggled, struggled trying to get up there. What are you doing, Pop? What are you doing? Whoop. Smoke said, I worked hard to get up there, Jack. You tucked me back out. Now, I believe that's two spoiled dogs right there, if you don't mind, Penny. Hey, stink bugs is crawling out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't stand to be around you, could they? <laughs> They liked the coat, but when they got on me, they had to come out. <laughs> 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 they couldn't stand it, couldn't Jack? Hey, when they got on you, they couldn't stand it, could <laughs> uh, No. Smoke? Buddy? He's found him a home. I gotta get it. He said he can't get high enough. I gotta get it. A little bit better view of this. Yeah, <laughs> Smoke, have you found you a home, buddy? Hmm? Say yeah. Have you? Get in. Get in. And you? you? I know you found you one. Uh-oh. Poor oh, Smoke. Now watch him get, get under the... Jack, is something scared the poop out of that dog or something? No, I ain't. I don't really he just... Don't worry, <laughs> I got on to him over twice for eating that his dog food. 
He went over to eat and I got on to him. He come back to me and he went there and come back out and went over again and I got on to him. I went there and got in the trucks. Set the truck. I had like never gave my truck. I just scolded him good too good time. I reckon he thought the next was gonna be a good butt kicker. <laughs> <laughs> you want deer sausage and eggs? Make biscuits and sausage gravy. Huh? Make biscuits and sausage gravy. That'll work. We'll give we'll give Bill a chance to make great sauce and make gravy again. <laughs> hey, we'll make that that gut bottom up gravy. <laughs> Need to explain what's going on here. Bill's in the process of making buttermilk gravy. <laughs> making buttermilk gravy this morning. <laughs> Looking good and brown there, Bill. I got a whole damn what you whole look? thing of tomatoes in here somewhere. I bought that in there at the food city and give a damn fortune for it and it's cutting like an apple. <laughs> I asked Jack if we had biscuits to go with our gravy. He said, yeah, they're in the oven burning. <laughs> oh, no, you ain't burning the biscuits, did <laughs> All right, boys. She's ready. This could look good. Hey, Bart, just at the right stage, ain't you? Uh huh. They burnt just at the right stage. <laughs> right Who's burnt them? Right stage of burntness. You know it? They ain't burnt them if they're burnt the right stage. They ain't burnt a lick. They're good. They're good. Bill didn't want to use a big spoon. Huh? We need a spoon big enough to dip the gravy out with. Spoon we had. <laughs> oh, oh I showed you a big spoon. Oh, you brought it back in there. What'd you do with it? We'll try that. <laughs> Bill, you... Sorry, Bill, but you ain't gonna get none. <laughs> you didn't make enough gravy. No, oh, you yeah. No, you didn't. You make nowhere near enough, did you? Nah. Yeah. There's any left, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't make nowhere near enough. We uh, know there have been enough left over for feed the dogs. Yeah, yep. that's what we're lacking. Oh, hey, baby. Oh. Uh. It's it over here. Those Kevin calls it, it's eatable in. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't got that for you. Yep, it's eatable. What? 
Good sauce, yeah. Mm-hmm. Any like coffee, Leah? I like it. Bill, there's plenty of room over here at the table. I guess he just don't want to eat with it. He can't stand his cooking. He sits over there by himself so he can feed it to the dog. <laughs> Done what? I said, you're sitting over where you can feed it to the dog if you don't like it. <laughs> we seen 89 deer yesterday. Most all of them in the field. Today we're going to see 8 or 10 in the woods, maybe. <laughs> You going to the woods? I thought we'd ride out to see if that... Oh, Porterfield somewhere? See if them roads is open. Mm -hmm. Am I going to get out? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay in the truck and watch the dogs. <laughs> All right. Somebody has to be a dog watcher, huh? Yeah. You can walk up on the mountain if you get out and go out to Porterfield. Who, me? Yeah. No. It didn't take a long lunch ride either, did it? Mm -hmm. I mean, one time you walked up to there and seen like three bucks before you got up on top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Went back to couple of days later hunt never seen a sign. Yep. That ain't much of a deer honey, but I know a deer's got a pattern, but I don't believe he knows what it is. He just goes wherever his head takes him. Well. If he's got a real good food source, now he stays with it. I will say that. that fields or corn patch, anywhere he goes to corn patch, then he'll go back and lay down in the woods. But, but no. You just get out here in these woods. If you find a good trail, he'll be, he'll follow it. A lot of times he'll follow that trail. A lot of times when he's just a picking, he's just a picking. Well, you take a, <clears throat> a farmland deer can be patterned fairly decent. Yeah. But these deep woods deer, you don't pattern them very much, you know? Find a good trail, he may use it. There ain't no sign he will. He might use it when he's well, traveling. He might. Something else. But they don't do the same thing every day, you know? And they get out here in these woods, if there's been anybody else in here, they change their pattern a little bit. Oh, yeah. People change their pattern. People changes their pattern and the weather changes their pattern, I think. Maybe not. People the always people always say you went out there and patterned them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You patterned them in July uh, sept my ass. September. You didn't do much pattern by November. Can you tell you? Mm -mm. I don't think I don't know. I, I used to go for years and sit and find the trails, walk them mountains, and find the trails, and go back and build tree stands on them trails. 
and I got my first damn deer I reckon ever. I've seen deer out of tree stands, but they never was on them trails. Mm -mm. Never have got one to come out on the trail where I wanted him to. Sitting bow hunting. There's enough gravy there for another biscuit if you boys want it. They're gonna eat it. Them, them the murders I bought at Food huh? City. Oh. Them the murders I bought at Food City was supposed to be in some kind of farm tomato. Well, they're like eating apple. Yeah. They ain't worth a plug nickel. <laughs> Where you at, Russell? What are you doing? Nope, Jack, Jack was fussing about on the way up here. He got lost three times. <laughs> three rogue turds missed his turn and everything else. <laughs> Said it's a good thing he wasn't by himself and he got lost five times. <laughs> oh. At least I had Bill with me. I can blame him for it. <laughs> When they ain't, he ain't with me, I'll tell everybody it's his fault. <laughs> he can tell everybody it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> he turned out one. He turned out seventy-seven to go look for pumpkins. I guess <laughs> we had to find that pumpkin patch out there. Was talking about. Then at one, then at one eighteen, he went right on past it. <laughs> right over there's where we need to be. How far did you have to go? 15 miles to turn I wouldn't around? doubt it. I had to go plumb across the top of that mountain down the other side. And then after we got across that mountain, we went five miles up there. There was, was some of them crossroads, but I was over on the wrong side to get on them. Couldn't get over. <laughs> and then, right out here, um, he missed 658. I didn't miss it, but about... Uh, maybe 50 foot or 100 foot. I, I seen it stop back there. <laughs> uh, I asked you if you'd ever been up here before. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, you won't do, Jack. He yeah. said they fuss at him at home for forgetting stuff. <laughs> oh. oh. Old age is a lot of fun, eh? You don't remember the bad things, so it don't bother you. <laughs> it ain't much bother you because you can't remember none of them. <laughs> there ain't many good things. You can't remember the bad, so you got to be. Right. Where did That's you catch them dogs? There. How'd they get out? That's going back in there. Right. Cause I looked around and they was following me down through the woods. Ow, I I looked out there and I left a creamer sitting out and uh, lay it far. I put one in one hand, one in the other, and opened the door, and here come two dogs. <laughs> Didn't catch them. <laughs> if you lock the keys in, you gotta call the locksmith to come out and unlock it if you don't know a thief. If you know a thief, you just call him. <laughs> <laughs> He get in a lot quicker. Yeah, he can get in there quicker than a locksmith. Yeah. <laughs> All you gotta do is not know you friendly neighborhood thief. Yeah, he come in handy sometimes. <laughs> Jack jumped up and grabbed him a roll of paper and took off for the woods. And he said, you can cut that thing off for a while. <laughs> I come out here just a little ways to see if there's any acorns. They're all over the place. Went right over there. There's lots of acorns on the ground. A lot of them. A lot of acorns. 
That was the worst wreck that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> We had Jack, well, talk, we had Jack talking about one of the time that their kid threw an airplane at our horses. <laughs> and Dennis tries to tell people about that airplane, a stir foam airplane about that big. Well, you remember them about this big. Mm -hmm. You buy them about yeah. that big. Yeah. That's what everybody thinks of. When Lee says it's about this big, they say, well, he's going to stretch the whole tail when he starts out stretching the airplane. <laughs> the rest of it's going to be a damn windy tail, too. Because they don't believe us from start because they started out with a big airplane. <laughs> it was a dang big it airplane. It was that big. I never seen one that big. It was that long. Yeah. Wingspan that long. And he, he just... It full. <laughs> them two dang horses, they didn't like that crap one oh, I was about half asleep I couldn't there. believe that dirt kid threw that dang old airplane at us. He did. He turned around and run like hell. I the best I remember. Yep. He yep. And then you remember we was riding up on Mount Rogers, and some <laughs> hiker come out there and had the hiking sticks. And two sticks. Yeah, and he just, he just flopped them from one hand to the other. Kilby was with it was one hand all all he did all he did was had the sticks in this hand he just went like it and all of their horses went crazy. <laughs> That's the day I told Kilby he's falling off his yeah. saddle flush. Yeah. We were we were riding up at uh, Mount Rogers. We rode from the horse camp over to the uh Grayson Hines Park or uh what it Massa Gap or whatever it is. And some hikers, I guess from New York or somewhere, man and woman, out through there, we stopped and was talking to them, you know. And they said, oh, what pretty horses and all that stuff. And that woman said, is it true a horse will kick you if you go behind it? I said, well, I let him know I was there, you know. <laughs> that horse will do anything. She said, where did y'all come from? So we told them, we, the horse came. Well, they knew where it was. That's a long ways across the mountain. That guy said, well, did you see anything interesting on the way over here? I said, well, we saw a Harry Kilby. <laughs> he looked at his wife, and they looked at each other, and he whispered, he said, what's a Harry Kilby? <laughs> <laughs> I said, it's coming right around the bend right there, and Harry wrote <laughs> around. I said, right there it is, Harry Kilby. <laughs> that guy, he looked around, he said, What's a Harry kill me? <laughs> he didn't want to be out there in them woods with no damn Harry kill me. <laughs> no, no. Beautiful place. Oh Lord, right that pond right there just above the dam used to be absolutely corroded in. Going down there, Jack. There are four deer standing there, I mean. There's four, at least four, five. I can see five. I can see five in here. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen.
you're scared to death today, ain't you? Yeah. Boy, he's a Paul Nath, isn't he? <laughs> he's scared to death today. I mean, he was moving out, wasn't he? I didn't know them deer down in here even got that scared. I didn't either, but they all spooky today. Where's smoke? Where's smoke? Where'd he go? Mm -hmm. They got going there, Will. Tube steak. No more said I got that tube steak going. Tube steak. <laughs> yep. And what is that? Jalapeno poppers. Oh shit, was it but we're in we don't need we're in good shape. <laughs> the beans and did that and them hot shoot. We're we're tall cotton, man. Don't need no more. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nobody gonna believe this. Yeah, I believe it's set up in there and done turn the concrete. I don't think I get any water. Look at that water sitting on top of it. We we got the <laughs> oh, we got through eating a big bay. <laughs> Huh? We just got through eating supper. <laughs> I was sitting around here shooting the bulls, all of a sudden Jack got up and he said, Well, oh, them good boys, we didn't eat none of the beans. <laughs> we picked, picked a great big old pot of beans, so we'd have plenty. We didn't eat a single salt one. We got to we, go have enough to eat. We got too busy trying to chew that tough steak up. <laughs> What the hell took us too long to do the tarts? The tarts all got the beans with it. They took us too long to eat the damn steak. We forgot about beans just trying to chew up that steak. Oh, that's good. Oh, God. One of them damn cows you bought about 20 years ago. No, I bought, I got damn it. The dogs got to eat part of that steak. Huh? The dogs like that steak pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Old Smoke liked it pretty good. Bill gave him that steak and then he backed up to see if he was going to give it back to him, though. <laughs> Old Smoke boy, he grabbed that steak and eat it like it's good, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> Smoke, he was going after that steak. Listen here, he's, listen to uh, these four or five bites of it. Yeah. Uh, Old Smoke. <laughs> You'd take about a fourth of that steak, gobble it right there. Maybe we go over in the corner and we'll find it. With it. <laughs> if we could, <laughs> if we could eat that steak like Smoke did, we'd have remembered the beans. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've had time enough to eat some beans. Jack, <laughs> <laughs> look here, boys. We didn't eat <laughs> the beans. We didn't eat beans. We didn't eat the beans. They said, "How long should I cook beans? Two beans can." Oh, so we ate two big, put two big cans up in there to make sure we had enough. We didn't even think of it. Whew. Oh, the boy, that said a lot for the steaks. <laughs> Bill cooked. Uh, either, no, Bill, Bill cooked. Hey, listen. It was either the damn steak was too damn tough, took us too long to eat, too long to eat them. <laughs> Well, it was so damn good, I got we forgot to <laughs> so far, Might have been so good, we just couldn't find members. I, I told Bill they had a great taste. <laughs> they were just a dick on top. I'm still picking them out between my teeth. <laughs> they had a great taste. You didn't say nothing about the rest of the uh, damn shit. Uh, I said, hold your dog. The gravy was okay. all right. Ouch, got damn burn all the hair off my arm. Look at there. What are you doing? I'm going outside door. and pour it out. Well, I don't spill it for a gift You got the wrong one. Well, you still got the metal one. Go to the butt front. Go back forward. Right back, right back, right back. There it is. Couldn't see it. Oh, God. I I've laughed. <laughs> hurt. Oh, no. Jack, I'm going to get another laugh here in just a second. <laughs> I don't know where you're. You're oh. like me. I don't know what we're going to make it in and out or not. Oh, my God. 
decided what height a commode is supposed to be yeah. or a kitchen sink or anything else they're all too cotton picking low they're all too low they're designed for midgets or something no. mama got sick well, with, when you're younger with... you can get up and down off of them yep yeah, it's always over, too low I don't. Because you're down. Well, I, I never did like set, I never did like sitting on a commode with my knees bumping my chin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, about what it now, to, ain't. I yeah. went down, I tore down there to get on that thing, and I said, "Now, bullshit! <laughs> I don't have a step ladder to get up." <laughs> <laughs> I got up on it, my damn feet was that high. Yeah. <laughs> It is, it is a bit high. <laughs> hey, the other one is gone. You can't go down there and say your knees is hitting you in the damn face. Hey, no, right no. Hey. no, no, you, no, <laughs> you. Hey, the water. As big as I am, my face that high. You no, know, while you're sitting down there, you can air out the bottom of your shoes. The soles of your hey, shoes get air out there. I got a pair of shoes. I have a little pair of shoes I wore in the house. The toes come off of them. So I glued them back together with that. Gorilla glue, you know how that Gorilla glue expands? Well, it's all the way around my shoes. <laughs> I've worn two months like that, and the other day I was walking through the house, and the heel come off, and it come loose, plumb to the toe. I just <laughs> it, I, 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 I got to tuck them off, tuck them out there and throw them in the damn trash. <laughs> I, I didn't even glue them back on. <laughs> I guess when I'm people going, watch this, when people watch this video, they're going to know. They don't want to go nowhere with three old men. <laughs> <laughs> this thing don't let nobody watch that video. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be on YouTube. I'll put it on YouTube. Told you I was going to make you famous. <laughs> and they take, and they, take, they, they took Facebook off for, what, 12 hours the other day? Oh, it was over, off. Over something. They'll take YouTube off for 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> that's, who, that's who made mine. You recognize the thing? <laughs> I don't either. We have a little bit of fun up here in these mountains, though, don't we? Hmm? We have a little bit of fun up here in these mountains, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have a little fun while there's any shit to do any hunting or not. Mm-hmm. We've had a lot of fun just telling poop tales, haven't we, Joe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. 
get so old, that's all you got to talk about. Hmm? When you get so old, that's all you got to talk about. <laughs> that's all excitement you have. <laughs> What's the most exciting thing you'd have this happen today? A battle to move. <laughs> That's what's called a boring day, ain't it? They told him to just fade away. His time had passed, and all his kind would die. But he remembers when Hank played the opera, high as a kite. While Patsy Klein was out walking after midnight Well, he saw the torch being passed from Lefty to Merle Now they're so-called successors, but it's hard to find a hero in this world There ain't no country music for old men All of the good ones have died or just packed it in Now there's posers and losers and would-be outlaws Who only know how to pretend But there ain't no country music for old men He was sitting on a bar stool the first time he heard Jolie A song by the prettiest angel he'd ever seen Back when Nashville was swinging and making them deals While old Buck was out strolling the streets of Bakersfield There ain't no country music for old
They might hold it down to that. Looks like that's driving in there pretty damn hard. Here go, Bill. I'd say we come back with Kenna be gun. Baffle, I think. I just charged the pierce first. But we'll the pierce. We'll See talk, you. We'll talk to you later, boys. There you go. <laughs> moving through the woods. I'll catch up to them here in a little while. I got way behind so I'm gonna have to haul the mail to try to catch up. Reckon he was waiting on me. We just barely missed that ditch. Holy moly. Beautiful day up here though.